us today from the center of Pennsylvania, Dominic Anskis. Dominic, thanks for coming on The Drone Dish. Yo, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Now, I was reading on your website, I know you said you started filming just with GoPros for fun a couple years back, and then things kind of changed for you when you started at using a drone for your filming. What was that epiphany like when you had a drone and kind of started using that to, to film stuff? Well, years ago when I just had the GoPro, it was just all about the POV point of view and like, you know, just getting the in close and the action and um, you never really got a sense of what was going on around you. But it wasn't until I think when I was in Las Vegas where instead of having just the GoPro to look down at the ground or just standing on the edge of a cliff and looking down, you don't really get that depth of perception. But when I sent the drone out um, really far away and you could see that I was couple thousand feet off the ground that's when you're like wow you know stuff like that really makes you uh, appreciate what a drone can do for filming do you remember when that was that you first got your drone i got my first the first drone that i got was the phantom 3 uh and i got that shortly after it came out so that was like maybe two years ago three years ago no no you use a drone and, and other cameras for uh, your company fujiabra films uh, you do weddings corporate videos and, and all sorts of other stuff too do you have a favorite type of shoot that you do uh, be it with the drone or the other cameras um yeah i mean i like to pretty much do anything i like challenging stuff doing doing uh, getting out and trying something new i haven't like i've never tried a music video i hope to try that someday my favorite is probably travel films i get that people say that my films make them feel relaxed and so I like to, uh, those, those are definitely my favorite kind of deal. Now speaking of beautiful places, I know you've traveled a lot and, and you flew in Iceland, which has become a pretty popular place for drone pilots. I've talked to some other pilots about their experience here, but I'd like to know what you enjoyed most about flying there and what you thought that experience was like of flying a drone in Iceland. When you get off the plane, it's like stepping into another planet. Um, it's just amazing the sense around you of like being in the wide open with just um, stuff that you've never even seen before because Iceland looks like no place else on the planet. A lot of people go to the Iceland in the, in the warm times, in the summer and spring. I always go in the winter time where I'm faced with rain, harsh winds, snow, and every time I sent my drone up in the air, I never knew if it was coming back. And speaking of other unique locations you've flown, uh, you've some cool places uh, here in the United States, including a graffiti highway, an abandoned concrete city. How do you go about finding those type of locations and, and what's it like to fly at some of these more unique kind of urban settings? The graffiti highway actually is like 20 minutes down the road from me and it took me 35 years to get there, but I finally made it. As for the concrete city, I had a friend on Instagram tell me about it and uh, that's only like 40 minutes away. And both of them are, are abandoned and they're very unique. And of people that were there, I mean, most of the people are just walking around with their cameras. And you know, you only have that like, look down at the ground perspective and, and being able to send the drone up in the air and see the half mile stretch of graffitied road or the uh, being able to go up in the air and see like all 14 to 16 com, uh, concrete city buildings that, that are there, being able to see like the environment and how apocalyptic it looked in that place, um, just having a drone is great. Uh, last question for you, you've flown some pretty cool places already, but where's on your drone bucket list that you would love to fly? Um, Australia, I, uh, Australia or New Zealand, probably New Zealand I would love to get to. Um, I've seen a lot of footage online, it looks amazing and I love any place that you can go and just have wide open area, no, re no people, no restrictions and just be with nature, I love it. And Norway is the top of the list for me, that's, that's my number one drone bucket list item but those places sound great too and Dominic we hope you get there someday and take lots of great footage but for now we enjoyed having you on the drone dish and keep up the great work. Hey, I appreciate it. Stay tuned for Norway. Alrighty. Enjoy.